SDF National Chairman, Nia John Frundi, has described the arrest of Chief Efor Minoni and Mayor Fahamidiyaya as too weak to distract Cameroonians from resisting Biya's promulgation of new electoral code into law. Frundi, SDF Chairman speaking to the press on Tuesday, April 17, at his inter Incan residence, Rundi said the arrest of the former Prime Minister and erstwhile Minister of Territorial Administration and his intalization, who were all involved in rigging successive elections, has come to demonstrate that, even those who helped Bia to plant himself illegally at the helm of this country are the same thieves he has been doing dirty business with. You must have known that Marifa used to have results before elections are over and it is an only that was almost lynched in Buya some time ago when he was caught stuffing ballot boxes with CPDM ballot papers. He took on his heels for safety. Frundi said Cameroon has remained on same spot because of these corrupt officials who spent time blackmailing politicians. Anani was caught with letters that were written putting Northwesterners and Southwesterners insinuating that these letters were from the SDF threatening to fire everyone when it takes over command, if you are not from the Northwest, Frundi said. The SDF chair said, arresting big thieves is one thing and recovering the stolen money is another. I hear only f the 1.5 billion has been recovered from those he has arrested and detained for over the years, and those who carried out the arrests say they have used it for the operation. This, to me, is scandalous. He pointed out. Frundi wondered how it had to take President B 21 years to look for proof. I have known B too well. He lives and dines with these thieves and as soon as he finishes with you, he dumps you. This act should not derail Cameroonians from real issues, because during our next meeting this weekend we are going to map a new way forward. He argued that those milking the public funds are supposed to be arrested but should be tried speedily. For the length of time Inoni and Marifa will be at Kondangui, Frundi said. Their consciences will help them reflect whether they serve this country honestly or not. After all, prison is not the end of one's life, except some of them decide to commit suicide there. Frundi blamed B for promoting and keeping indisciplined ministers. He said when the SDF disciplined recalcitrant mayors some years ago, it was Marifa who protected these mayors and instructed them to disrespect the party's decisions. According to him, even CPDM mayors who could not live up to expectations had enough protection from Marifa. Now that Marifa is jailed, Frundi expressed the wish to have seen his court case with Marifa done with before his arrest. He told lies how in 2008 riots, he saw me with a hardened criminal behind my car, showing structures to be burned. I dragged him to court to answer these charges. Today who is a criminal, him, Murfa, or I, Frundi? He quipped. Asked whether the SDF has been approached to state how they manage support funds given by government to help political parties. Frundi said receipts are available to justify every franc used. It is only SDF that has an account in which money given as subvention from the Ministry of Finance is channeled. Those who have signatories to that account are the Treasurer, Secretary General and Vice Chairman, not Frundi. My role is to approve funds for the party activities and I have all receipts for verifications, the SDF Chairman said. Quizzed whether Northerners will react violently to the arrest of Marifa, Frundi said Northerners are mature enough to revolt against the arrest which can be interpreted as condoning crime. If Frundi embezzles he should be investigated and arrested and not for supporters to use the incident to cover crimes committed by Frundi. The SDF is no respecter of persons. Laws of the party and the country must be respected by all, he said.
he added. It would be recalled that it was former Prime Minister Efra Minoni who instituted and propagated Operation Sparrow Hawk and Operation Antelope. As author of his own Agumba, he has been exposed to show to the world that he was sitting on stinking files about himself. Fundi said late AC Ngafer had a fraudulent company and foxed his way out when police came looking for him. To him, all is sham because these are fellows who were pretended to be saints yesterday and today, they are being hunted for embezzlement, using the tools they put in place.